Make sure he gets all the way down there and you see that door about to open and you bust his fucking head open. What going on man? It's your boy VI Guy here and welcome back to another video on my channel. As you can see we have a silent and sneaky heist setup and we do not have the infiltration suits and that's because in this video we ain't gonna need them. I'm actually going to attempt to rob the vault from the casino heist and we're going to initiate the EMP but we're not going to have the night vision goggles to help us out. So it's actually going to get really dark and almost close to impossible to navigate visually on screen. So first and foremost, I want to shout out uh, Serial Colt for helping me with this one. We actually tried it a few times before we got it down pack. I've actually done it before on the fly with my best friend, man, Dr. Killer. Uh, but I wasn't recording at the time. So I decided why not come back and, and you know, record it and, and have the world see. Uh, we're gonna set a small goal in this particular video if we can get just 10 likes because you got to start somewhere I greatly appreciate it and if you are new I'll try my best since I'm a new youtuber to not be a subscribe okay, hound so if you could just slap door. a like man Help just to show that you stopped by I'll greatly appreciate it but Drive let's get right into it I'm gonna break some you. stuff down for you and if you haven't done the silent and sleepy heist I'm going to leave a link in the description down below on how to do it um, the video that i'm going to leave actually doesn't have a uh a verbal tutorial it's just all visual i decided to do a, a commentary less video but in this video i'll actually go ahead and give you some pointers some tips and tricks to make this as easy as possible because the truth is if you ain't know already silent and sneaky is in fact the hardest heist you can do for the simple fact that there's a lot of moving parts you don't just walk right in because of the big con theory and you don't shoot your way to the vault because aggressive this one you actually have to take your time and eliminate guards in order to be able to access the vault on undetected so right here we have two guards uh, I always tell people I'll give a countdown you have one guy always give the countdown to make it easier and you appoint that person to always give the countdown that way there's never any confusion I try to use uh, shirts and colors you know as best as I can if the guys wearing a red shirt and the guys wearing a white shirt you know say I got red you got white you know, make it easier or you can always choose a side say I got left you got right and you always want to count down I always say on three so I'll say one two three and on three we will both shoot I always hesitate a little bit on my three because obviously you know the mic is a, a little delayed it will never be exact um, right here uh, pay attention to this this is another cool fun tip or trick that a lot of people don't know sometimes you wait for this guy to come all the way back before you knock him out this will help you if you're doing elite challenge wait till he gets all the way down there and you see that door about to open and you bust his fucking head open the camera will not see him because he's around the corner and you'll be able to get away uh, with murder and the, you know the cool thing about this is if you're doing elite challenge that saves so much time next if you're a confident player like your boy once your counterpart is inside the daily take room just go on ahead and head downstairs there's no reason for you to babysit them don't worry they're not gonna stick money in their pocket uh, don't forget the guard that comes up the stairs and secondly don't forget to zap that camera on your way down another important thing too since you're leaving your partner upstairs you want to make sure you remind them, hey, when you're coming down, don't forget to shock that camera again because it might have turned on in the whole time I'm down here or you're up there. Uh, and just now, Serial Coach just finished grabbing all the money. So right here, I take down both guards by myself. I time it. You don't want to, you know, shoot very quickly and miss that other guy because you will get an alarm. I wait for him to put his head back up. This guard right here is sitting in this room. If you peek that corner right there without being spotted by the camera, you'll be able to trigger him to come down the hall. Sometimes it's this hall, sometimes he'll come down the next hall. Either way, you want to get him triggered to come down this way. You want to back far up enough where once he comes down and the camera cannot see him, you bust another man head open. And then you can go ahead and proceed. This right here is pivotal, what I'm about to do. I suggest you do this even in big con heist. 
which is you swipe that key card before you go into the vault. That way, when it's time to leave, you can just walk straight through the door. It's fucking mind blowing. So now we're about to get into the control room to the vault. I always shoot down this camera. You can only shoot down one, of course. This one always seems to be in the way. So I shoot that one down. You know, if, if it's going to be the free camera, it's going to be the one in this room. And that camera does not return when, when it's time to exit. So it's probably your best bet. Here you want to pull out the nano drone. Just make sure you have enough space around you. Sometimes if your friends are too close and breathing down your neck, uh, just tell them coronavirus six feet because uh, the nano drone will not come out when they're that close. And look at this cool little trick here. Uh, I did it in the other video, but now I can talk about it. You can come through this little windowsill and get right in here and put homeboy in here to sleep on top of the desk. Once those two guys are down, you really don't need the nano drone anymore. You can literally run right into the vault and uh, begin or commence with the money taken or the, <coughs> the stealing or the borrowing. Anyways, uh, go ahead, time your swipe. Again, this is just like a sync shot. I count down to three, make life as easy as possible. Or sometimes I even say you swipe, and then once I see them move, I swipe too. It really saves a lot of headaches sometimes when you're playing with people that uh, may not know what they're doing or if they're not as confident and they can't be a lead. I'm not, not saying that's the case with Colt. Uh, we, we've heist before, you know, just, just throwing that out there. But again, the target item for this heist is in fact gold. I am doing this voiceover way after the fact of us doing the heist. So I already know what's going to happen. I can see into the future. Um, we actually was able to get all of the gold. In one of the failed attempts that we did, the gold cart G, for whatever reason, did not allow us to access it. And, you know, Rockstar, very funny people, if you figure out a money glitch, them man to shut that shit down in a week. Don't, don't let them find out. Don't put it on YouTube. That's it. They're going to say, oh, yeah, we're going to shut this shit down, and they patch it right away if it in involves you making more money than you should that's why there's a 3.6 cap on this shit because they already know that people are going to find ways to make more money but g has been inaccessible for quite some time now and i wonder if they're concerned about us not being able to make our money it's almost like revenge but either way uh we're able to get into the vault and we're able to get all the carts what I do best is I call out the letters as I see them available. So A and B are in the middle. I call them out. I try to find rooms that have, you know, one or two locked um, carts, and I unlock them first. And I, you know, I let the people I'm playing with know where to go next. And that helps a lot because what they're going to do when they're done is where do I go next? So you can just get one step ahead and say, how about you go to C next? And that saves a lot of time. And you know what? You make more money. Now, if you noticed, <laughs> there's only one fingerprint in this, and I didn't learn this right away, so my other videos probably won't reflect that. But if you do each one of these heists, and I'm talking aggressive, big con, and silent and sneaky, if you do them in an order which it's one at a time and you don't go back and forth between two, you'll actually get a lot easier of a heist. If you notice, I only had four... Uh, locks when I was using the laser instead of eight. Uh, I only had one fingerprint here to get to this cart instead of two. And I'll tell you, the fingerprint thing is a big deal. If you would consider this, doing the heist that still has that red skull on it allows you to do it, but it makes it a little bit harder. So when it comes to doing the fingerprint, it gives you two fingers to go ahead and match. And just think about it. The time you're doing the second fingerprint for that same door, your ass could be at another door opening up another cart. So it's just like I gave in and now I do aggressive heist because for me, aggressive is the least of my favorite heist to do because it involves losing money. I mean, why would I willingly do it to get shot at to lose money when I have two I can do and I can get better results in? But the end goal here is to make the two that I really like as easy as possible. So I still then turn around and do aggressive. And for it, I get an easier break in on the vault. I get less fingerprints to go ahead and crack. And then you have friends who might not even be good at hacking. So like me, 
Or, you know, I have friends who don't like hacking. They don't prefer hacking. So I usually, most of the time, do all the hacking. So this is easier on your boy because I don't actually have to do two fingers per door, just one. And, you know, again, I just want to point out, it's just the two of us. And right now I am taking money from the last cart. So this was actually very possible because I didn't have two fingerprints per, per door. And you know what? If you can do this with two people and walk away with about almost a million each, that's that's a good game, man. I mean, I can't I can't tell you or stress enough how much you know how much of a significance that is. And if you like it, you could cut your ass back to Pacific Standard Heights, where all you walk away with is just over a million. So this is fucking amazing that we both get almost a million each. I think we're. We're like 20,000 short in the end of this. To be exact, we get 980,000. So, I don't know. Do a piracy or prevention to, to, to round it off at a million. Wait, what do you want from me? Um, so, we are coming up on the big finale here. And this is why you came. So, I'm going to go ahead and activate the EMP. And voila. Pitch black. No night vision. As, as I promised. And we're going to go ahead and make our way to the exit like the gangsters we are. I'm just going to go ahead and give you the secret and the lowdown to this fucking madness. I am actually playing using the minimap on the bottom left of the screen. It's like playing Snake. I'm just pointing the little arrow in the direction I want it to go. And I am pushing forward. I'm not even running. I'm just pushing forward. I know where the doors are. I've done this heist you know, more than 50 times, I'm sure, so I know exactly where the doors are. I can see the enemies because I did patrol routes. So, you know what? It's just like a, a mini-map game right now. Once this guard walks by, we waltz right out of the control room, and you want to be damn sure that you get on the other side of that metal detector before the power comes back on. Because if you don't, it will go ahead and chime and you will be alerted. So, as you can see, me and uh, Colt made it through undetected and, you know, without the night vision goggles, it is possible to do. It is difficult. I know we made it look easy and all of that, but you have to consider that if you're not used to just looking at the minimap and pushing forward, it's going to be a bit challenging and it may be for some harder than others, but eh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, as you know, after this part is very easy. We go on ahead and we make our way to the getaway vehicles. And then from there, we find ourselves at the police station helicopter. So that's actually going to be it for this video. I hope you find it entertaining and you learn something new. And if you want a real challenge, you can go ahead and try it without the night vision goggles or quote unquote infiltration suits. So with that being said, don't forget to help me make my 10 like goal. I appreciate y'all for watching this all the way through if you stuck around. And until the next video, I gonna check out you later.